It may have taken more than 100 years, but Geelong will become the first city of the Southern Hemisphere to host the World Professional Elite Cycling Championships. They'll be here in the month of September into October. The course itself, it's said to suit the sprinter, but the sprinters say it's said to suit the climber. It will be a spectacular occasion which will link Geelong with the rest of the world. Next year, these championships go home and Cadell Evans will be in the rainbow jersey. An outstanding result for Australia. Cadell, there's something strange for both of us. I'm an Englishman in Australia, you're an Australian, and you're wearing the rainbow stripes of the first ever world professional champion. But it wasn't just you winning Mendricio, which was right next to your in-law's home, uh, in just across the border in Italy, but here, your next year own home in Barwon Heads. It must be a very strange feeling. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a bizarre one. I was um, when we set out looking at the world's Varese, Mendrisio, Geelong. They're all within 20 kilometres of one of one of my homes. Um, thought, well, hopefully I'll get one of them right. And fortunately, it was the Mendrisio one. So, so um, one down, one to go. But um, no, Mendrisio was really the best world's course for me, probably in probably my career. And so, for everything to go right there was yeah, it all came together at the right moment. Evans is away. Let's not forget how well he rides. It's in hang up and then hang on. Cadell Evans is racing for goal now. The man that a lot of people say never attacks. Well, eat your word. It was an absolutely brilliant win. It was one on pure strength. The best man certainly won this world championship. Um, all the emotion poured out at the finishing line. You know, the tears, the, the ch it, like a release of a whole year came in one minute, didn't it? Yeah, it's, um, you know, I, had a, I had a pretty tough year and um, it's funny, you know, each year you go in and I go in with the same work ethic and you know, with the same motivation every year, doing everything as, as well as I can. And sometimes it comes together and sometimes it doesn't. But um, yeah, this year, to, to 2009 was really... I, I, I was doing all the work, I was doing everything right, but for whatever reasons, beyond my control, things weren't coming together and a little bit of bad luck here and there and, and then in the Vuelta where I really thought I really didn't deserve the bad luck I had there to maybe even win the, win the Vuelta for it to all, all um, come together at the right moment there in the World Championships was uh, the only thing that could have repay, repaid all my hard work but um, also made it all the more worthwhile. As luck would have it for the Australians, the defending world champion is Australian and for the first time ever, the world titles will be fought out right here in Geelong. The course, they say, uh, isn't suited to you, but I would disagree, wouldn't you? Well, um, one thing with the, the worlds that's always different is it's so long that it changes everything in the last few laps. I'd say um, on paper it's not going to be hard enough for me. I think, I think, I think it's suited would need a really good Robbie McEwen or a good uh, Alan Davis or Stuart O'Grady. So you'd be on the same team, you'd have to help win yeah, it. Yeah, uh, I think I might be... Uh, is it payback time from last year? I think I might be in a, in a support role in 2010 at the world. Now, you know they always talk about the curse of the, of the uh, Arc-en-Ciel, the rainbow jersey. Uh, you don't seem to repeat what you've done when you wear that jersey because now everybody sees it. How's your season going to go? Um, I'd say I had my curse in the year leading up to the up to the rainbow jersey. That's the way I felt about it. Um, from um, Tour de France 2008, the final time trial there onwards was um, to the following tour was was my, my year of a curse. But um, no, I, I I see and my goal having the rainbow jersey is, is to honour that, and that means yeah, racing at the front of the races, which which I intend to race at the front of anyway. To Italy at the moment, uh, Tirreno Adriatico, and yeah, hopefully the Tour de France as well. Finish with a crack at defending the title here in July. And then again in the final at Geelong, yeah. Cadell, I hope you have a very happy year. Thank you. Thank you very much, Phil. And there is history, the Australian flag number one in the world. That's a first in world professional cycling.